So today was not a pretty day across most of the market. Looking at the major indices, we can see red across the board, with the Nasdaq tech sector taking the worst hit today. But this only continues the downward spiral that CCIV stock is seeing ever since the official merger announcement with Lucid Motors. We haven't seen prices like this for CCIV since January, where we were still speculating on whether or not they will actually announce a merger. So what's the deal? Should you be selling off your shares or buying more? We'll be going over this in detail, so let's get straight to it. Hello everyone, this is Mark with MC Stocks. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button for more videos like this one. And as always, remember to do your own due diligence when investing and seek a financial advisor for professional advice. A lot of red in the market today. Some stocks got hit worse than others, like NEO going down about 4% during market hours, Plug Power going down about 10%, and Snapchat going down about 7%, to just name a few. But CCIV has been taking a pretty hard beating. Today, the stock price dropped over 12%, bringing the price down to $24, a price that we haven't seen on the stock since January. With the whole market dipping down into the red, and with the majority of the stocks following the same dipping pattern going down, it is a fairly good indicator that something is going on in the market as opposed to the actual stock. But you may wonder why CCIV is dipping further down than other stocks. This could be due to a variety of factors, such as investors who only bought shares of the stock for short-term gains deciding to bail out when prices kept dropping. After all, we did see a pretty insane run-up of CCIV stock price all the way up until they announced their merger deal with Lucid Motors. Furthermore, as a SPAC stock, CCIV is highly susceptible to the infamous buy the hype, sell the news trend. So now that we have passed the hype phase of anticipating the merger deal announcement, we have entered the sell the news phase. From recent highs, the price has dropped over 57% after the announcement which is fairly unfortunate since it paints a lose-lose picture on the whole stock. If they decided not to merge, we would see a sell-off. And if they do merge, we likewise are still seeing a sell-off, albeit not as steep as a no-deal announcement. But nonetheless, this type of sell-off is part of the risk that comes with trading SPAC stocks. So what does this mean for our positions? If you are in it for some quick short-term profits, you may be able to take advantage of the fluctuations of the stock price during this market volatility. With the mix of a volatile market, plus the swings of a SPAC stock going through a quick sell-off, could be a great playing ground for traders. But what about the long-term investors holding onto their shares? We have to notice that no real news that fundamentally changed what we learned since the Lucid CCIV merger deal announcement has been made. So this is one indicator that nothing is fundamentally wrong with the company. First, recall the massive buys occurring in February prior to the announcement, causing the stock price to spike from mid $20 values all the way up to the $60 values. The last time we reported to you how much institutions owned of CCIV stock was on February 19th, right before the merger announcement. Back then, 140 institutions together owned a staggering 55.69% of all publicly available CCIV shares. Fast forward to today, and we see that the number has only grown to 153 institutions now owning about 57% of all publicly available shares, according to Fintel.io's latest data. Furthermore, looking at this chart, we can see that no sales were filed by any large institution since the merger deal, but in fact, only more buys, even some as recent as March 1st. So what does this tell us? From the data that we see, it is clear that these institutions are taking great advantage of the dip in the stock price. On top of that, we also learn that no institution since the merger announcement has filed that they are closing their positions. There may be sell-offs by some who would like to secure some quick profits, but none have publicly filed that they have ended their CCIV positions. Do note though that some of these institutions are coming in at prices much lower than the current market value, 
possibly through private deals like the pipe transaction. But we should notice the fact that even the institutions that got in at the bargain prices are still holding on to their shares. This is a good sign that even these large players who have lots of money on the line still have pretty strong conviction in their investment into CCIV and possibly see the future potential with Lucid Motors down the line. This dip in the stock price could serve as the golden buying opportunity to make an entry point or to add to your positions. Dollar cost averaging continues to be your safest bet as opposed to trying to time the market to find the lowest possible point to buy. But as always, remember to do your own due diligence and to only invest what you're willing to risk. The market can be unpredictable and profits are never guaranteed. If you're looking to buy shares of CCIV and need a brokerage, be sure to use our referral links in the description below for some free sign-on bonuses that can get added to your accounts. Good luck everyone with your holdings and stay tuned on our channel for any news regarding any Lucid Motors developments. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we release our next video. Please like and share for more videos similar to this one and comment below with any questions that you may have so that we can address them in future videos. Thanks.